Hello, beautiful people. Peace out there in Facebook land. <laughs> Hope everyone can hear me okay. Peace out there in Facebook land. <laughs> See you guys yelling in the back. Ah, what's up, folks? I go by the name of Rich Robinson. Catch me right, live right now. Just finished up a class. And I'm bringing you to our second inaugural installment of the Quiet Punch Live series. So I'm here trying to punch out today. We have our Quiet Punch set up in the room over here. We have a couple guests in the building who are going to help us get to this live stream this evening. I'm going to be in the back. I have one of my guys here. Say hello to the people, Juanito. It's good, guys. Got Juan here. Just finished up with us. Got Giselle here. We're going to walk you through a few combinations you can do on your Quiet Punch while you're live and at home. So you see a setup here secure in the doorway. When you set the quiet punch, you want to make sure you give the ropes here enough tension, so you want to stretch it out, give yourself a nice quality, solid foundation to hit. We're going to go through a few things today. We're going to work that basic jab, which is ultra important. It's the first punch you should learn, that good snap jab. When you extend, I'm a right-handed fighter. Juan is right-handed, Giselle is right-handed. So we're going to start in our basic right-handed stance, orthodox stance for the boxing fans out there. I'm going to place my left leg in front, I'm going to take my right leg, I'm going to put a step back and a step to my right side. I'm going to tuck my elbows in towards my ribs, not too far on the side, as far in the front, with the right hand so I can move them around. I'm going to bring my hands up in front of my face, I'm not going to rest them on my face, not my preference. I'm going to place them right in front of the face, elbows in, hands between chin and cheekbone. They can slide it up as far as the ear, answer that phone, slide the hand back down, but this is where you want the hands to rest. First combination we're going to work on today, classic combination of boxing, we're going to double the jab, follow with the right cross. I'll switch up at some point for the southpaws, but for right now, we're going to work this first combination. Again, I'm a right-handed fighter, left leg's in front, right leg in back, I'm going to give you that jab, jab, cross, that set, set, cross, that one, one, two. It's the first combination we're going to work on. At some point a little later on, we're going to begin to do variations off of the jab. Go for the jab, right to the uppercut, or jab, right to the hook, follow with the cross. For some nice purposes, we're doing two minute amateur rounds. Two minutes rounds. And in that two minute break, you're going to have, after the two minutes of laps, you're going to have a one minute break in between. In between that, you're going to get in some conditioning work. Some squats, some mountain climbers, some things of my choice as I call out. So as we get rolling, I want you to keep that in mind. We're going to work on that first combination, that jab, jab, cross. For the right hand, is that left, left, right. Snap the jab, snap the jab, bring the elbow back to the rib. Be cautious of that flare out. Like when the elbow flies out and it doesn't come back to protect the ribs. Getting hit in the body sucks. Trust me. That's why we want to bring that elbow back to the rib whenever we throw that out. We want to bring the hands back to the chin. Hands must return to their proper defensive positions. Elsewise, you get hit and it's not fun. I'm gonna put two minutes on the clock. At that, we're gonna get into some leg work. So I'm gonna do the first two minutes myself, and then we'll have the team here hop in. You disagree? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get my clock out, I'm gonna get my timer. Uh, 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 uh. And a beautiful thing about this combination is you don't throw everything as if it's a fastball. You gotta throw some off speed pitches. It's good for those who actually want to get into the ring as far at some point. Not every punch is a fastball. Touch them. Tap, tap, cross. Add low power. And you'll see me vary that speed as I get into this combination. I'm going to put two minutes on my clock. Put two minutes on your clock. Get ready as we get into this. Ready in. Our clock starts in five, four, three, two, one. First combination now. Tap, tap, cross. Again, notice how I vary. Step in and out, ha, ha, ha. come back to the bed. Ha, ha, ha. You will hear me breathe out as I punch. Ha, ha, ha. That's me exerting breath out on every punch. Why? Because I don't want to pass out, so I'm not holding my breath. I'm breathing out. That jab, jab, cross. Good. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Two more. Ha, ha, ha. One more. The jab, I lean my head a little bit to the right side. As I throw the cross, I bring my head a little bit to the left side. Why? Because I want to get my head off of the center line. There's a center line in boxing. I want to get my head off of that center line. So I'm going to extend the jab, lean my head to the right side. Throw the cross, lean my head to the left side. This slight subtle movements. It's the difference between losing and winning. Back to the combination. Now you can add up to it. That ha, ha, ha. I'm now mixing 
Jackson in the hook. Ha, ha, ha. Slight subtle steps in the left. Ha, ha, ha. Back to the right side. Ha, ha, ha. In and out. Ha, ha, ha. On my toes. Bouncing and out. Ha, ha, ha. Still working. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ooh. That was the one, two. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Keep working for this round. Ha, ha, ha. Very good speed up. Ha, ha, ha. Ten more seconds. At the ten minute mark, I want you to flash. On your toes, extend the arm nice and quick. One, two, three, four, five, five. At the one minute mark, once you give yourself some room, once you place hands behind your head, turn your feet outward, come down, give me squats. Down and up. Down and up. If you have knee problems, particularly those who have bad knees, right here is where I want you to turn your feet outward. Give yourself a little less tension on the knee. You have no problems, you can aim your feet forward, place your arm behind your head, you're gonna squat down for a full minute. After this one, I might have Juanito sub in, you're gonna move on to the next combination. Keep the chest up, back straight, make sure the chest does not extend beyond the knees when you're doing your squats. 20 more seconds. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds. Nice and easy. In three, two, one. Come on, honey. For this next one, we work off straight off of that jab, jab, cross. I want to incorporate a bit more movement now. So I want to see that jab, cross, slip, slip. In addition to the jab, jab, cross. Once you're missing your slips this round, make sure you give yourself a little more movement, a little more defensive measures. Hop on it. So back into that boxing stance, hands up, elbows in, give me that jab, jab, cross. Step back a little bit, extend that arm. Good. Give me that one, two, slip. A little more movement at the waist, both sides. Good. To be an effective counter puncher, you have to be willing to stand in there, stay in the middle. Sometimes you need to put yourself in harm's way. To do that, you gotta be able to move your head side to side. Really move at the waist level. Good. Keep moving. Now take a step back, step in and out now. In and out with that jab, jab, cross. Good. Remember, every pitch is not a fastball. You gotta throw some all speed pitches as well. In and out. Sometimes it will blaze the speed of the double jab. Other times, tap with the jab. Tap, and they come with the cross. Ah, good. Good move. Add a bit more moves there. Feel free to take that weave set in and out. Keep breathing. Elbows back to the ribs. I want the arm flare out. Keep it in there. Last 10 seconds on your total speed shots. Go! On your toe, one, two, 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 one, two. Drive through all the way. In three, two, one. Come down to that top plank position. Come down here. Come down to your knuckles. Drive those knees back and forth. Mountain climbers, go. So I got Juan down here doing mountain climbers. Holding that top plank position as he moves, drives the knees back and forth. You can see him there. Drive those knees up and back. One minute of mountain climbers. Keep working. Hope you have the steps out there. Make sure you drive the knees. As you do your mountain climbers, keep your hips level. Keep your butt out of the air and keep the knees dropping. Still move one. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Keep working. As you see, he's here. He's live. He is working. You see the expression on his face. <laughs> he's still working. Drive those knees up a little bit further. So as he finishes up his set of mountain climbers, as you finish up your set of mountain climbers, we're going to, pref we're going to preference and preview the next combination. Now again, we're throwing these straight shots. That's a beautiful thing. And we're gonna work off this three punch combo. This jab, hook, cross. I'm gonna bring Giselle in for this next part. It's a soft touch hook. Jab, slight step to the left, follow with the cross on the side. Come on in, Giselle. So she's again an orthodox fighter. And she's throwing that good touch hook to the side. Throw 
throws the hook. She takes a slight subtle step to the left side. That jab, hook, cross. A little soft touch. What you want to do is get your opponent to have their hands up, guarded in front of them. You want them occupied here. So you can slip the hook around the side, follow with the cross. Beautiful. Oh, hey, Shay Shack. See you out there in Facebook land. Beautiful. Three, two. In addition to that, now I want you to work back in that first combination. That jab, jab, cross. So now you're going to work on both. The jab, jab, cross, and that jab, hook, cross. And for those who are counting out there from our, from our original boxes who use the number system, it's that one, one, two, or that one, three, two combination. Keep working. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Notice how she squishes in between the two. She gets you thinking double jab cross. Then she throws the jab hook cross. She comes back with both. Good. Incorporate some heavy now. Give me that one, two, slip, slip. Side, side. Ha, 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 ha. So notice we're only in our third round, but already we're on our third combination. We gave you the jab, jab, cross. We gave you the jab, hook, cross. That one, three, two. Now we're incorporating again that one, two, slip, slip. You gotta have defensive measures involved. Ten seconds on your toes, flash. One, two, 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 one, two. Notice the legs work. She's on her bike the entire time. The legs is where speed comes from. The legs is where power comes from. Three, two, one. Come down here. We're gonna go down on our back, hands on our shoulders, knees up, crunches. <laughs> right now, give me a minute full of crunches. Full head of steam, knees up, elbows tap thighs. That's how I want the crunches to look. Elbows tapping the thighs. Breathe out as you come up. One minute of full crunches. You should be on your back working right now. You shouldn't be able to see me. Keep tapping. Get those knees up, keep working. 30 more seconds of crunches. Still working. See the expression. Ah. See the hard work. She's down here getting it. You should be out there in La La Land doing the same. 20 more seconds of work. We're going to keep incorporating these defensive measures in the midst of our combinations. 12 more seconds. What I want you now is to begin to fan through some of those blocks. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to do a round. I'm going to bring Juanito back in and he's going to follow up. Three, two, one. That's one minute of crunches. Right back to it. We're going to keep going on this block. What I want you to do now here, I want you to get that one, two, block, cross. Come back with it. We'll do that again. I want that one, two, block, two. Especially if you're going to stand in close, you're going to stand in tight. you got to be able to block and slip shots on the inside. We're going to work on that block again. I'm going to give you the jab, cross. I'm going to bring the left hand back up towards the ear. Phantom block his next shot, return with my cross. So it should look like one, two, block, two. Nice and quick. And again, you want to give yourself some movement. You want to be a stationary target even if you're staying inside. One, two, block, two. One, two, block, two. Look, little weave, little side step, jab, jab, cross. One, two, block, two. Now you can mix up some of those combinations. One, two, block, two. One, two, block, two. Step in and out, don't stay in range. One, two, block, two. Notice when I step out, I'm always in good balance. One, two, block, two. My feet are as wide as my shoulders, so I'm ready to punch at any moment. One, two, block, two. Again, one, two, block, two. Very speed. One, two, block, two. Still working. One, two, block, two. When you step back, when you step across. One, two, block, two. Mixing the other combinations. Jab, jab, cross. Take that step. Jab, hook, cross. When you step back around. One, two, block, two. Good movement. Still working. In and out. Slip, slip. Weave, weave. Defense is everything. Boxing is the art of hitting and not getting hit. Ten seconds, flash. On your toes. Let your hands work. Let your legs work. Nice and quick. Three, two. Hands above your head. Or hands at your hips, rather. Step forward. Lunge step out and back. Lunge step out and back. Lunge step out and back. You can't see the people right now. They're talking bad about me. As you lunge step, 90 degree angles in a lunge. 90 degrees.
Keep the chest upward. Make sure the knee does not extend beyond itself. Keep stepping. Keep finishing up your lunges. I'm going to put two more minutes on the clock. Paul, I need to go back in the middle. He's doing the easy stuff. You're not doing the easy stuff. <laughs> you got 30 more seconds on the lunge. 30 more seconds. So I need to come back in. He's going to work on this combination. It's jab, cross, left hook, cross. Now it's not a powerful left hook, not a super left hook. But jab, cross. Slight step to the left, finish with the cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Or that one, two, three, two. With a little bit of movement. Hop on in, Juanito. Clock starts in five, four, three, two, go. Good. Round one. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Excuse me, I'll put my back to you. You want to make sure that elbows come back in towards the ribs. Don't let them flare out. Good. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. If you're on your quiet punches at home, once you really arc that arm way out, palm facing down, get to the side of the back. It's like reaching around the guard and touching the side of the head. So reach around the side of the back. Bring it out right here. That's what I want you to do. Three, two, one. Let's add a defensive measure to that. We're going to go for that jab, cross, hook, cross. Add the slip to the dominant side. Come back with that cross hand. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Slip, cross. So I know right now you see me, right hand fighter. You see Juanito, right hand fighter. You see Giselle, right hand fighter. I'm going to switch and go southpaw next time I'm up to give you that view as well. Hook, cross, pull a warning. Jab, cross, hook, cross, slip, cross. Good. Jab, cross, hook, cross, slip, cross. Now I want you a little more in your bounce. Take a little step in, take a step out. Boxing is all about range. Covering distance and engaging when you choose to engage. So make sure even in the midst of your quiet punch work, you're stepping in and out of distance. In and out of range. You want to get comfortable doing that as well. 30 seconds on the clock. I need to keep working. Still working out here. 20 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. Flash. 10 seconds. Go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I want you to turn the palms all the way over. Extend those hands all the way out. Turn them over. In three, two, once, once you come down to the ground, place your hands directly under your butt, leg lifts. <laughs> come on down to the ground. Once you flat, hands under the glue, legs come up, bring them down six inches off the ground. A little low, I need them. A little low. There you go. Breathe in as they come up, breathe out as they come down. Always breathe out at the moment of exertion. Always. Keep going. A little more down. 30 <laughs> seconds, 30 seconds. He's working out here, folks. I don't know if you can hear him humping and puffing. Let's get a loud close-up on one camera. He's working. 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds at home. You're doing leg lifts. 10 more seconds. We get Giselle in here. We're going to work on this next combination. We're going to play off of the cross now. Everything has been off of that lead hand, the jab. You can do a lot off of that. Now we're going to play off of the cross, the lead right hand. You're going to give me that cross, hook, cross to start off. Come on in, Giselle. So I'm coming over to the back, you're gonna give me the cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook, cross. And for those who are still counting out there, boxing terminology, it's that three, it's that two, three, two. Two, three, two. Cross, hook, cross. Notice the elbows come right back to the ribs. The hands coming back as high as the ear because she's waiting for that counter shot. Good. Three, two, one. I want you to incorporate a little defense. That cross, hook, cross, slight weave, come back with the cross. Cross, hook, cross, weave, cross. When you weave, the body's performing a U shape. So you're gonna need that cross, hook, cross. Bend down, let the legs work, get under the shot, come up, return fire. Cross, hook, cross. Minute on the clock, folks, you still be working at home. Two minute amateur rounds. You want the uppercut? 
I got the uppercut coming. I got you. No, I'm not starting over, Joy. We're here now. We're working. Three, two, one. Take it back to that first combination. Give me that jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Now again, I want you to focus on getting your head off of that center line. Lean a little bit to the right when you throw the left hand out. Lean your head a little bit to the left when you throw the right cross. 20 seconds on the clock. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Ten seconds on your toes, flash. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Every last ten seconds, I want a speed burst. Burst all the way through the round. Ten seconds. Five more. In three, two, two one. One. She's gonna come down to top plank position. She's gonna come down to top plank. She's gonna give me sixty seconds of shoulder taps. Hands extend down fully. Legs step all the way back. Sixty seconds of shoulder tap. I want you to watch her work. <laughs> keep your butt out of the air. Keep your hips level. Feet a little wider than shoulders as she comes for this tap, 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 tap. Notice she's not over rotating in the hips. As you see her work, she's keeping letting the core work. 60 seconds of shoulder taps, we got 30 seconds left. <laughs> 20 seconds left out there in Facebook land. I'm gonna step back in for this next round. I'm gonna show you a little bit how you work with that lead uppercut. 10 more seconds of shoulder tap. Still working. Got this. In five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna step back in here now. We're gonna do a couple more to comp of the uppercut. First one we're gonna do, pretty traditional. It's that one, two, the uppercut. The left uppercut is for right handed, that's the five. And two again. So it's jab, cross, uppercut, cross. Again, I want some natural movement. I never want you too stiff for this. I want you on your knees, on your toes, bouncing. Give me that jab, cross, up, cross. Step out again. So it's jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. Now this is the uppercut I'm throwing just to get your attention so that you forget about this right hand coming behind it. Some punches are decoys. Not every punch is meant to be a home run again. So it's jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. I weave step out, weave step back in. Jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. Or is that one, two, five, two? One, two, five, two. Slip, slip, weave. Always defense in mind. I step out, come back in. Jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. You can see me beginning to do it. Now I want you to remember to get it home. Jab, cross, up, cross. Weave. Weave. Defense is always in mind. Jab, cross, up, cross. Ha, 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 ha. And now, jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross. One thing I want you to make note of, we throw that uppercut, try not to drop the right hand. We have a tendency to let go of the other hand when we're punching. We should Jab, cross. Up, cross. As one hand extends out, the other hand always comes back home to guard yourself. 10 seconds on the clock. Give me a speed round. Nice and quick. It's in the arms. Hold the toes. Turn the hands all the way over. Ah. Once you come down here now, we're coming back to our back. I'll bring you with me. We're coming down here. We're elevating our legs straight in the air. We're up and our shoulder blades off the ground. Then give me some toe taps. Legs stay straight. Shoulder blades stay elevated. And tap, 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 tap for the entire time. 60 seconds on that clock as you get ready for the next round. Keep tapping. Keep extending. Keep the legs up. Keep your shoulder blades elevated. Tap, 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 tap. Place it down. Keep working out there. 20 more seconds on the clock. And we step back into the next one. We're gonna work a little bit more off that uppercut. Who's hopping in next? I'll go, but I'm gonna do this. Okay. So now we're gonna play a bit more off the uppercut. <laughs> now we're gonna throw instead of the lead uppercut. Again, we're right-handed fighters. So our lead uppercut is the left arm. Instead, 
and we do a neck. So you can give me the jab, uppercut, cross. Jab, up, cross. Jab, up, cross. Give me the lead, uppercut. Jab, jab. There you go. So it's the lead, uppercut. It's that one, five, two. One, five, two. Jab, lead, uppercut, cross. Now for this jab, you just want to tap with the jab. You're throwing a jab really just to get yourself in position to follow that uppercut. Jab, uppercut, cross. <laughs> Three, two, one. I want you to incorporate that weave now. Is that weave come back with the right hand? Minute on the clock, got a minute on the clock. Three, two, one, take it back to that first one, that jab, jab, cross. It's been so long since we threw it, you might have forgot about it at home. Now slow it up a bit. Now begin to change the speed on the punches. I can't emphasize this enough. Every pitch is not a fastball. Sometimes you gotta stretch up a little bit. Slow, slow, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Mix up that speed on those punches. And give me that one, two, slip, slip. Never forget about defense. Defense will always win fight. That's the call of Carter Champions. 10 seconds on the clock, flash. On your toes, chin down, extend the arms fully. Turn your hands all the way over. Five seconds on the clock. And three, two, one, from right here for this next minute, I want you to bring your feet in together, back straight, chest out, feet out to the side, touch the ground, back in, feet out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. We're going for drop top, drop squats with a touch. Almost there, folks. Got about 15 minutes left on our clock, got a couple more rounds in us. You should be working at home. 30 more seconds on these drop squats with a touch. The back is straight, the chest is up, she's letting the legs do the work. Back straight, chest up. Let the legs do the work. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds on the clock. We're still working out there. You know what you're getting, you know you're getting to it. And once you hear the breathing, start to get a little heavier, you start to hear the grunting, you know it's working. In five, four, three, two. One, I'm gonna do a little check on my quiet punch. Make sure I'm still in here, I'm still good, I'm still engaged. Seems like it. Why don't you hop on in? For this next one now, we're gonna add up to the combination we've been doing earlier. We're gonna give you that jab, cross, uppercut, cross, hook, cross. So again, it's jab, cross, uppercut, cross, hook, cross. Never forget about the hips. Always turn through the hips when we go. Five seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, get in there. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Round one. Trust your punches. Take, take one step back. Jab, cross, uppercut, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Take your time to get that combination right. That jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Get the, get the swivel through the hips, through the hips and through the legs is how we generate power. It's not all about the upper body. You gotta get that momentum, that turn through your hips. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Elbows come back to the ribs, hands come back between the chin and the cheekbone. That's where they rest at. We're still working. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Notice the natural movement now. He's got a little bit more side to side happening. He's starting to loosen up a little bit. You want to take a step back and extend an arm on that jab. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook, cross. Look at this in and out motion. Notice the side to side. That's natural movement. You should always have that in your combinations. Natural movement, natural rhythm. Less than a minute on the clock, but it's still working. Good. Once you get the elbow up a little bit higher in the hook, I want the elbow to be around the chin area when you come through for the hook. Thirty seconds left for work. Thirty seconds. Give me that one-two slip, slip. One-two 
One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. Keep the elbows in. Nice movement, side to side. Good. Don't get too flat for this. Stay in the balls of your feet. Ten seconds, flash, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Extend those arms fully. Turn those palms all the way over. In three, two, one. Come down to the ground. Classic push-ups. Go. You might be thinking, why are we doing push-ups in the middle of a boxing round? Well, we're working on our arms too. That's why. We're going to keep our hips slightly elevated. He's not going to keep his hips too slack. You don't care the camera. Why don't they keep working? Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Nothing crazy about it. Nothing secretive. Classic push-ups. Still working. And you should still be working at home. If you have your wraps on, you have the opportunity to get on your knuckles. Still going with it. 30 seconds of push-ups. 20 seconds left. Let's go, Juanito. You see him down here working? You see him grunting? You see him struggling through it? We got 10 seconds on the clock. If he's feeling it, I know you're feeling it out there. Keep working. Five more seconds. In three. Two, one, I'm hopping back in. Now we've done a lot of things so far off of the lead hand. We've done the lead jab, lead uppercut. We're going to work now a little bit off of the back foot, the back hand. We're going to go for that slight right uppercut. Left hook, right cross. It's that uppercut, hook, cross. Once you're in and out, on your toes, up, hook, cross. Notice the weave step again. Defense is everything. Uppercut, hook, cross. Up, hook, cross. Keep your left hand up, or you go that right uppercut. Don't get slept. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Up, hook, cross. Notice the swivel through the hips. I come on the back for a second. You want that uppercut, the hook, the cross. If you're not turning through your hips, you're not generating power. You're not using your body effectively. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Step off the back for a second. Give me the same combination. Uppercut, hook, cross. Notice the extension. Up, hook, cross. Notice the weave step. Up, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Step back to the back. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. One more time. Up, hook, cross. I want you to add to that now. We're going to, go, we're going to incorporate the first combination. You're going to give me the uppercut, right uppercut, or the six. The left hook, or the three. The right cross, or the two. You're going to add that jab, jab, cross to finish it off. The entire combination should look like uppercut, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. When you set back in position. Uppercut, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. Get your movement. Uppercut, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. Up, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. And now, I like to stay on the balls of my feet and be a finesse fighter. Uppercut, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. Ten seconds, flash. Nice and quick. Ten seconds, long, full. On your toes. We're gonna come over here. You would think we incorporate a water break by now. You'd be wrong. We're not going for water breaks. In fact, we're gonna drop it down here. We're gonna keep you live. We're gonna come down to top plank position. We're gonna spread our feet about as wide as our shoulders. We're gonna go for top plank, elbow to knee, knee to elbow rotations. Set the leg back. Hold the top plank position, rotate the knee to the elbow and back. Rotate knee to elbow and back. Rotate knee to elbow and back. Once you have your rhythm, then pick up the pace a little bit. Try to go all the way through. Top plank, knee to elbow rotations. Keep turning all the way through. You might be having a trouble right now getting that knee to the elbow. Don't cheat it. Extend the arm all the way there and bring it back. Extend all the way there and bring back. 10 seconds on the clock, keep working. Gonna pull us back up. Three, two. Is that you hopping back in? <laughs> so for this round, what's the freestyle in the bag? Go. Think about the combinations we've worked so far. We gave you the jab, jab, cross. That one, one, two. We gave you the one, three, two. Jab, hook, cross. We gave you the one, two, slip, slip. We gave you the jab, cross, hook, cross. We gave you the jab, cross, uppercut, cross, hook, cross. 
We gave you everything with the weave set. Begin to incorporate it. Feel a little free in your movements. Freeze out for the next two minutes. You're gonna work on some of those combinations you saw yourself fall out. Mix it up, mix it up. You got one minute on the clock. You're going through four or five combinations, begin to put them in play. Remember, stay on your toes, be in and out. Be a fighter, fleet of foot. 40 seconds on the clock. There you go. Incorporate that side to side, that head movement. Don't get too flat for it. I want to stay in the balls of your feet. Be mobile, be mobile. 20 seconds on the clock, we're still working. Hope your clock lines up with my clock. Still be working out there at home. 10 seconds, flash, go. One, two, one, two, chin down. Hands extend fully, turn those palms all the way over. In three, two, one. For this next round, once your hands up, give me that weave set. Give me the weave set, yeah. weave set. Right in front of the camera. So again, I want you back in your proper stance. Let the legs work. Weave step, weave step. Stay in your boxing stance. Step out to the right, step back to the left. Step out to the right, step back to the left. Weave step all the way through. Forget to use your space a little bit. Whether you're at home, working in the living room, you're working in the bedroom, you're working in the kitchen, you're in your office space, just enough room so you can step in, step out. Get under the hook, get under the hook. Get under the hook, get under the hook. Use your range, there you go, beautiful movement. Still weave stepping, still weave stepping. Ten more seconds. That hand freeze out. One. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Once you hop back in, freestyle for another two minutes. Begin. Put it together. We've been through a lot of combinations. Let it work. Go. Don't forget that one, two, slip two, or that one, two, block two. Incorporate that right hand counter. Yes, Giselle is working out here. You see him. You should be working the same. If you're not breathing hard right now, it's your fault. Again, bring those elbows back to the ribs when you flip. Yes, nice. Good uppercut, good hook. Good. In and out. Notice the weave set. The head movement, the slight movements. Don't be a stationary target. Keep working. Got another minute on the clock. Extend the arm a little bit more for that jab, jab, cross. For the jab, true power lies at the end of the shot, at the end of the pop. So don't short your arm, extend it fully. Get that full reach. Don't end it here, end it here. That jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Extend that arm fully. Good. Thirty seconds on the clock. Thirty seconds. Play off of that slip, slip. I mean that one, two, slip, slip. Throw something off of it. There you go. Off the slip, slip. You can follow with the uppercut. You can follow with the hook. Come back with the right hand. Ten seconds on the clock. Flash. Go. One, two, 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 one, two. Three seconds on the clock. And two. And one, one more time, hands up, give me that weave set, weave set, weave set. You know this. See, his legs are a little side, so you got to cover that first one. But if your legs are conditioned, you get under that shot, but no problem. Come up tall on the other side, ready to fight. Weave step, weave step, weave step, weave step. You should be doing the same at home. Let the legs work. Down and up, down and up. Use your space, incorporate your movement. Still working out there, folks. We still stepping. 
Got a few more moments on the clock. I'm going to give you one more combination. Send you home for the night. Don't get tired of me yet, son. Still moving. Incorporate that movie. <laughs> 20 more seconds. 20 more. Step and step. Step and step. You should be in unison. Step and step. 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Control your breathing. In three, two, one, step on out. Last time. So if you're a right-handed fighter right now, left leg in front, right leg, a step back, a step to the right side. Elbow in, hands high. If you're left-handed, you are right leg in front, left leg, a step back, step to the left side. Elbows in, chin down. I want everyone to switch stance now. So I'm a right-handed fighter. I'm going to put my right leg in front, take my left leg, a step back, a step to the left side. Elbows in, chin down. So it's always good to practice in the opposite stance as well. So now, I'm a southpaw fighter, opposite of orthodox. My jab hand is now my right hand. I'm going to work a little bit from the opposite side. That jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Same combination. Should feel a little different now. <laughs> Since I switched things. In baseball, this would be the equivalent of switching it. We need to go from both sides of the plate. <laughs> We're going to mix in those same combinations. That one, two, block, two. <laughs> Just that one, two, slip, two. Keep that hand up, keep working. Or that jab, cross, up, huh? cross. <laughs> Might feel a bit uncomfortable, but I want you to work from the opposite stance for this entire round. It's our last round on the clock. I want to send you home for the evening. Keep slipping, keep working. Jab, jab, cross, up. Huh? Follow the uppercut. Or that jab, uppercut, cross. We step out, we step back. Begin to play with the movement a little bit. Incorporate some of those combinations you've been playing with. That one, two, three, two. Or that one, five, two. Keep playing with it. Incorporate it, let it feel natural. Jab, jab, cross, slip, throw. Ooh, came back with the jab myself. Jab, jab, cross, slip, cross. We're on the opposite side. Still working here. Almost 10 seconds on the clock, I want you to flash. On your toes, one, two. Nice and quick. I'm sitting in the south pole stance. Send the home on the Finish up. Last five seconds on the clock. Ah. Whew. Not too bad. As I look at my clock, it's about 8.30, which means we've been here working for about 45 minutes. You see the sweat. You see the quiet punch. Take one more look. See what happened to the people over here. You he's see Juan? Sweating. He's very sweating, guys. Because he's been working. <laughs> you see Juan? You see Giselle? You see the sweat on the forehead? Ha! Ah, one more time. You see the logo? Quiet punch. Good for the office. Good for the home. You see the shirt? We're trying to punch out. You can catch us live here on Facebook. Tuesdays, 7.45, with the man, the myth, the legend, the creator, owner, and operator of the Quiet Punch, Brian Padon, I'll be here Thursday nights, 7.45. Once again, Rich Story Robinson, Quiet Punch, signing off. I'll see y'all next week. Peace. Say peace to the people. Bye. Peace. Later.